But you have to get it out. If you got a resentment, you got to get it out. Resentments will kill you. They absolutely will. They literally, I read in the paper four, four or five years ago, I'm not making this up, woman stabbed her husband while he was sleeping, killed him. That's not the joke. Whoever is sitting next to that woman, you might want to think about where you're at. That was almost maniacal. I'll move over here. I gotta tell you, she stabs her husband. You think they had some unresolved conflicts maybe? Some resentments that they, uh, they, they could have been counseled out? You know what her defense was when she went to court? I had no other choice. What? This implies that she had a list of things on a piece of paper of choices. Can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. Stab him while he's sleeping. Well, that's it, I'm out of choices. <laughs> Ladies, if you're at that point in your relationship with your man that's stabbing him as part of the equation, you need to talk to that man. I don't care what he says to you, I'm busy. Oh no, I think you're gonna wanna hear this. I'm seriously thinking of putting a steak knife in your cranium, buddy. I guarantee you that boy will put those golf clubs right down. Pull up a chair, get a cup of joe. What else is going on in that pretty little head of yours? Now that I'm sitting there thinking about it, I've been fairly neglectful the last couple of years. How about you and I do something fun together? Go antiquing, that'll be fun. Yeah, then we'll come back and have a spinal tap. That'll complete the package for me. <laughs> Root canal, how about that? <laughs> Told that story at a church one night and a husband and wife grabbed me off to the side. We need to talk to you. I said, about what? She says, the wife says, I don't know what you're talking about, all that arguing and stuff. We've been married seven years. We've never had an argument, right? He goes, no. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> All right, I'm kidding on that, but it, she says, we've never had an argument seven years. I mean, I got to take their word for it. I mean, you know, I don't know, seven years. Are you kidding me? Seven years without a dis... I'm, if I lived seven days with Tammy without a disagreement at some point, I would be sleeping with one eye open. I mean, I know me, I'm annoying. She keeps telling me I'm annoying. I know it's not building up. There's nothing festering in there. There's just no release valve, no nothing. I just, if she's not, then I'm going to be half awake when she snaps. Seven years. Ladies, let's say you married a guy seven years ago, and every morning he likes to burp on his way to the bathroom. He thinks it's funny. Good morning, baby. Burp. And all this time you've thought it's disrespectful, but you never want to say anything because you didn't want to rock the bolt. Now you're seven years into this. You're one burp from killing your husband. He doesn't even know it. He's sound asleep like he's been sleeping every night for seven years. You're wide awake next to him. Go ahead, let it rip tomorrow morning, Buster Brown. I got something special for you tomorrow morning. Go ahead, boy. I am so out of choices. This is all I got left. Go ahead, let it rip. So he wakes up next morning like he's woken up every day for seven years. Good morning, baby. That's it! A little harsh for church. <laughs> My point is, talk to your men, ladies. <laughs> <laughs>